Okay guys, what's up? Um, today we're going to be doing a mod review, and I'm sure you can already tell what it is. It is a dragon mod, so that's awesome. I love dragons, they're just like super mythical and amazing. Um, but first, before we get into that, I want to sincerely apologize for all of the lack of videos. It is Christmas time, um, I'm spending time with family, and I just had a ton of homework for school. So I do apologize for that. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I really don't have a very good excuse. More or less, I was just busy and lazy. Sorry. I apologize for that again. And I will be getting, or at least I'm hoping that I get a new headset and mice, mouse, singular, for Christmas. So um, be looking forward to that. And if I do get the headset, you should hear pretty good change in quality so yeah look forward to that so on to the mod hello mr. donkey um, this is a dragon mod as you can see behind me there we already have some tame dragons go out of f5 mode we can hop on this bad dude and fly around just gonna give you a quick view of how to do it um, yeah but to get one of these dragons it's a little more complicated so if we fly this guy back over here, hop off him. Yeah, I have five. So to change or to get one of these dragons, what you need is a dragon egg, and you can get this in vanilla survival. It is um, you get it from killing the ender dragon in the end, basically. Previously, it was very useless. Basically, it was just decoration and teleported all over the place. But if you plop one of these bad boys down, like so and right click it you'll see it'll bounce around start moving around is it like attracted to that dude I think it might be attracted to mature dragons I'm not positive on that though so it'll move around once you right click it and it will begin growing and you know be an egg and everything so make sure you right click it otherwise it will not grow and in about one or two minecraft days it will become a baby dragon as you can see over here and after it becomes a baby dragon, it'll basically grow up and become a big mature dragon. So, there are different types of dragons. There's one over there. Um, there are different types of dragons. If you just place it, like, right here, it'll become a ender dragon. So, if we get some end stone, like so. And this is just a way to ensure that you get the ender dragon. Otherwise, it's more or less random. So if we place down a 3x3 three three of ender stone and place the ender dragon right there, egg, ender egg, dragon egg, then it'll be sure be an ender dragon. Excuse my dogs, they're a bit crazy. <laughs> um, okay, so there are some different ways on how to uh, like influence them. To get a uh, fire dragon, you just plus place it down with um, lava or fire around it. And you right click it just like before and it'll start growing you can see red particles instead of just the normal purple ones Shh, dragons. Shh. and um, to get a water dragon basically you just do it down do the same thing like we did over there only with water surrounding it and then we'll get blue particles as well as the purple particles sometimes they wander around um, to get, there's another version, I have no idea if this one has grown or not, because I placed it down previously. Um, we, oh yeah, and by the way, when it's about to hatch, it kind of looks like this. There's like particles and it's shaking. I'm not sure how long that lasts, it seemed to last like a day or two, like maybe half a day for me. But if we place a dragon egg under, um, I think it's like 75, no, 60. It has to be below y equals 60, like in a cave somewhere. If we place it down and right click it like before, it'll grow into a, um, I think it's a, called the ghost, the ghost dragon. So if we fly back up here out of this nifty little tunnel that I built, and if we go all the way up here, I think it was, here let me double check. Okay, it has to be above y equals 70, 170. This one will spawn a uh, aether dragon, which is pretty cool. It 
each of these dragons has like special textures so yeah and so once your dragons have hatched like I said before they will be baby dragons and once those baby dragons grow up and become big dragons to tame them what you need to do to tame them is you get raw fish and you click them until the hearts show up just like with horses or anything and so now once you have your tame dragon you want to ride it of course I mean why wouldn't you so to ride it you get yourself a nice saddle plop it down all on top of him and right click him so now we can drag now we can fly him now you can move around with the uh, W A S and D but if you press space you don't fly and you're like what the heck why is this not working this is what we do in creative well to fly with these dragons what you have to do is you have to press R to go up and F to go down hey, look there's a here let's go check this guy out this is a fire dragon this is what these guys look like nice red color really cool oh and by the way when the the dragons are babies they won't like obey you and stuff so if you try to tame it it says this dragon doesn't follow your commands basically that means you can't tame it or um, make it sit or anything so if we fly around you can press R and F to fly up and fly down I'm not sure if those are configurable we We'll go check on the spot. Yeah, they are configurable, so you can change them to whatever buttons you please. And we can fly up and go way up into the sky. Let's go F5, make it look pretty awesome. It gives you a nice wide angle view of everything, so you can take some pretty awesome shots of everything. And it's just a faster way to travel around your world and really really cool way to travel around your world at that so yeah and uh, to get off it just like normally press uh, shift and we'll get out of creative or f5 view so over here I have a chest of a bunch of items that you can use um, you can use like I said you can use raw fish to tame and breed them uh, you can use a bone to use it's uh, used for sitting and uh, yeah, so if we click him, right click him with a bone in our hand, he'll sit, and he won't, like, wander around. And if we click him again, he'll stand up. So yeah. If we come back over here to our chest, we can plop this guy back in here. And again, um, you can use raw, like, meat and stuff to heal him, so if we click this guy, he's healed up now. There isn't any animation for that, which I think they should add, but they haven't. You can use, um raw beef, raw pork chop, raw chicken, and rotten flesh. Although rotten flesh only heals half a heart, whereas the other ones heal a full heart. So, what we can do with our dragons is, we, if we want them to, actually let me get this guy back to standing position. Oh, I guess I need the, you need the bone. You need the bone. Get him back up, I'm just gonna leave that. So if you want to, for some reason, you don't want to ride him, like fly him around, you can get a lead and attach him, and he will follow you with the lead. So that's pretty useful, I guess, if you want to be discreet about your dragon. Um, yeah, but if you, if we get on, nope, get on the dragon, there you go. If you get on, if you don't like the um, R and R control and F control to fly up and down, what you can do, instead of using the W, A, S, and D keys, is if you get a carrot on a stick and just point your mouse wherever you want, he will automatically fly there. So I am not touching the W, A, S, D, or R, and F keys. I'm just moving my mouse, and he is flying to whether, wherever I'm looking. So that's pretty useful if you don't want to do that. It's kind of it's a little more simple, although you need the carrot on a stick. So yeah. Honestly, I think I prefer the W, A, S, and D. So, that's mostly it. I'm going to return when I, when most of the dragons are hatched and fully matured. I will show you what all, what they all do and stuff. So yeah, catch you in a bit. Okay, guys. Um, one minor thing that I forgot to tell you about. It's actually really minor, but I thought I would say it anyway. Um, when you're flying and you know, on your dragon you can shoot stuff it's kinda hard because your wings are in the way so it's in the head well, I guess 
you could do that. That's nice. Yeah. Magical floating arrows. Whoa! But yeah, anyway, if you shoot, like, at the right angle, you can shoot stuff, I guess. It's kind of hard, so. Really hard, actually. You can only, like, shoot from the back. Let's see if we can have cinnamon. Mm, no, it's not gonna happen. But yeah, you can shoot and stuff from your dragon, and I assume you could also use swords and stuff. So yeah, we're back. Okay, so we're back, and um, all of my dragons have fully grown, uh, except for the ghost one. I couldn't figure out how to get that one to, you know, work and stuff. But um, we have the normal ender dragon right here. This one is the one that we've already seen, so I'm just gonna briefly touch on that one. Purple eyes, black. Uh, this guy is the water dragon. He has more of a bluish teal eyes if he will get out of the way. Even more, as you can see he has like a tealish blue green eyes. He's blue, oh, everybody calm down. Everybody calm down. He's kind of a bluish color. Um, this is the aether one. He is a uh, lighter blue than the water one and has uh, dark blue designs with gold rings around his legs. His eyes are a gold color, which I think is really cool. And then we have the Herp Deep Derp Fire Dragon. So yeah, this is the Fire Dragon. Um, general red color, nice scales, red, um, red wings with, I assume, red eyes. Yellow eyes with black slits. So if we ride, we can ride um, each one of these. So we can ride the fire one if we jump off of him. If we jump off of him, um, and we make our way over to the aether one, we can ride him too. Looks pretty sweet. I think my favorite one is actually this one, the aether dragon, just because of how cool it looks. And all of its designs and the gold and stuff. Actually, let me turn that off. So if we hop off of him, not like that, like this. There we go. We can, again, well, hello. We can ride um, each one of these. This is just water dragon. And um, I assume they have, like, maybe special abilities. I'm not positive on that. Um, the wiki really didn't say too much. Well, the form page really didn't say too much, actually. But, um, leads. Yay, leads! But yeah, um, I can get those to work, and uh, I couldn't figure out how to... Oh, I totally forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, abilities. The form page didn't say too much on abilities. I assume the, uh... Water dragon is weak to fire, and the fire dragon is weak to water, but that's just an assumption. Um, yeah. So if we actually, I set up command block over here. Hey, look, they changed the texture pack. Oh god. Yeah, it's Christmas time. They changed it. To, oh, cool. Okay. Enough of that. So I tried to spawn. Um, or I tried to make. A ghost dragon, but just ended up being a water dragon that's freaking out. So yeah, I'm just gonna get back out of here. That is the Dragon's Mount mod. If you want to check it out, the link to the forum page is in the description below. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye. Wait, 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 wait. False alarm. False alarm. I forgot. Or right, while I was waiting for them to grow. I um, figured out a cool feature that I didn't know about. If you jump from like a high place, if you're falling, then the dragons will try and catch you. Well, they'll, they'll try and fly towards you. So if I like go over here and try to land right on top of them. Okay, these this does not want to work. It was working earlier, so let's see if I can get it to work. Maybe I have to be up higher here. Okay. So, like, if you fall or jump from a high place, they'll try and catch you, and you will automatically start riding them. So, let's see if this will work. Again, no, it did not want to work. I swear this is working before. Okay, so line up, and fall. 
Yeah, okay. That's it's a bit glitchy right now, but I assume the mod maker will try to fix that because I was like way up there and he caught me. But yeah, that's it for this mod. Again, if you want to check it out, link is in the description. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to hit that like button down there. And if you really enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for even more Minecraft content. And if you're still hungry for more, here is the previous video and the next video. Bye bye.